Diva. What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're actually gonna go over how to do the wiggle effect that you guys have seen in the intro. And the reason I wanna do this effect is one, because it's super easy to do and you guys could literally do this in pretty much any editing software that you guys want to. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and use Adobe Premiere Pro today, but it's been going crazy viral. So honestly, hop on the trend and just get a decent amount of views. Like really all you need is your own B-roll. The better the B-roll is, honestly, the better the content is gonna turn out. And if you want the exact audio that I'm gonna be using today for today's edits then go ahead link will be down in the description below go ahead down that for free and follow along with this tutorial but with that away let's go ahead and jump straight into adobe premiere pro okay so now you guys have the audio downloaded again link will be down in the description below if you don't have it go ahead download it uh, go ahead and drag and drop it into your timeline now the way that you guys actually go ahead and do that is i'm just going to go ahead and hit command i or import and then just go over wherever you save the audio and hit imports now it's going to go ahead and import it gonna go ahead and drag this into our timeline and then real quick before we even actually do anything i'm gonna go ahead and create markers um, for where we want our cuts to sort of happen okay so i kind of just want them on the let's see i want one right here and then i want like another one right here fire so honestly we'll go ahead and just place those markers just like that let me actually go ahead and see if i can move this marker or undo that one Okay, so now that we have our markers on the timeline, kind of where we want the beats to be cut at, we're gonna go ahead and drag in our B-roll. Now for you guys, the B-roll could be whatever it is that you want, whether you're a just, you know, lifestyle content creator, you're a filmmaker, whatever you do, uh, this is like a great trend to really show off your expertise and just make something that looks really sick at the end of the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and just look through my B-roll sort of folder. If you guys don't have Premiere Composer, highly recommend it. It's actually pretty goaded. It's a, uh, free plugin and i like to just throw in all my b-roll and then update it and as i update it so does this file right here i don't have to leave adobe premiere pro it's pretty tough okay let's go ahead and get some b-roll from this clip right here so i'm just gonna go ahead and double click like this i think we can get something that looks sick right here just a little unboxing just something simple uh let's see okay so that's kind of a cool little clip so i'm just gonna go ahead and drag this out onto the timeline like so i'm just gonna go ahead and scale this and place this where it actually looks good. Let's go ahead and do something like that. Real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and make my sequence settings the right sequence settings, because right now it's actually not. So 1080 by 1920 is what you guys wanted to set it to, just like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just set mine to what I recorded, which is 23.976. For you guys, it could be 29 or 30, doesn't really matter. Hit okay. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and actually fix this scale wise, just like so. That looks really good. So back to what I was saying about the adjustment layer, I'm gonna go ahead and add an adjustment layer so that way we could apply the grade to it. So that way when you drag in our clips, it's pretty much just immediately color graded for us. I'm gonna go over here to my viral effects pack, which by the way, if you guys wanna go ahead and cop it, it is linked down below or top right of the screen right now. I've been really enjoying this sort of flat cinema LUT. But yeah, the look of this LUT is just super, super clean, super cinematic. I really, really enjoy it because it's not really doing too much. You know what I mean? It just makes it look like mad cinematic, like I said. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and just keep going on and picking out our B-roll clips. Now this could take as long as you want or as quick as you want. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just speed through this a little bit. I'm um, just kind of like, you know, get things moving. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a clip like this. Go ahead and move that over. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just alternate the tracks just like so. Really no in proper way to do it, lining it up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a clip from, let's see, do you wanna do a New York clip? Yeah, let's do a New York clip. Shout out Adobe for inviting me to New York. That trip was tough. Go ahead and maybe do something like that where I'm just looking over. Fire. Go ahead and find another clip. This one would be cool. Like a little close up of everything. A little pan maybe. Yeah, cool. I like that. Go ahead and maybe get a clip of me playing some CS, owning the homies. Going crazy. Let's go. 
fire now what's really cool is like with this sort of um video or format is that you can really play around and just see what works the best okay let's get some b-roll of me uh hanging some stuff up or decorating i guess or maybe just me walking in my living room let's see uh i actually like this clip of me putting that up like that now i'm just using the i for the end point and then o for the out point go ahead and see how that looks maybe we'll do something like fire be like that i'm gonna go ahead and position this properly so i'm just gonna go ahead and rotate it negative 90 degrees out a little bit thick go ahead and turn up the exposure on this guy okay so now you guys have your b-roll into the timeline kind of where you guys want it now is the time to actually go ahead and do the real wiggle effect and the way that you guys want to go ahead and do this for this audio you guys are going to want to go ahead and go four frames over so i'm going to go one two three four i'm going to go ahead and hit c for cut i'm going to go ahead and just delete the rest of it I'm going to go ahead and hold alt or option drag this up and over and then right click you guys want to go over here to the speed and duration and hit reverse speed now what that's going to go ahead and do is kind of like make like a little boomerang effect just like that and select both of the clips and then hold alt or option drag it over and what that's going to go ahead and do is it's going to go ahead and just duplicate those clips so that way you have like an actual like wiggle effect now I had a little gap right here, so I had to do it again, which is perfectly fine. And then pretty much what you guys want to go ahead and do for this like trending Instagram sort of trend, you guys want to go ahead and do that for the entire length of the audio or however many B-roll clips you have. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the finished results. Shout out Ghost for making this video possible, because if I did not have this, then I honestly would not have recorded this reel. So shout out Ghost. W hands down the best flavor of ghosts and i'm very excited i got to try it because this is pretty freaking gas okay so i went ahead and did that entire process for the bureau clips that we actually had so let's go ahead and just play it through and see how you guys like it oh bro that's actually so tough dude bro I think it's safe to say that we absolutely killed it. And to me, it looks freaking banger. Let me know what you guys think down in the description below. I really like doing these like trending videos on Instagram here on the YouTube channel, kind of breaking the name for you. So let me know if this is something you guys want to see more of me breaking down trending editing styles. If so, then we'll definitely run it back. But if not, respectfully, we could stay in our lane of making talking head content. But I have a feeling you guys are really going to enjoy this video. So anyways, thank you guys so much for for watching this video if you guys want to go ahead and check out my online editing shop for short form content editors go ahead check it out link will be down right below or on screen right now and if you want to go ahead and watch how to edit minimal cinematic talking head content just like in the same style that you guys see in this thumbnail go ahead and click that video and watch it right now that's it for me today remember take action and take over i'll see you guys in the next one peace out